So, ladies and gentlemen, so far what we have um, basically discussed is going to be uh, quad our linear equations. All right. Now, what we're going to be doing is with quadratics, and the reason that we um, get into this would be a quadratic is going to be based on that little two there, which is going to be our degree. Okay. So for this whole chapter, chapter four, we're going to be dealing with quadratics. That means you're going to have an equation, or we might be dealing with functions, that we're going to have your variable is going to be to the second power. Okay? Sometimes we'll have a linear variable as well. But you're always going to have, for quadratics, for it to be a quadratic, you have to have a variable raised to the second power. Okay? So what we're going to learn how to do is graph these. Now, when we were learning how to uh, graph linear equations, you know, there's kind of two different things that I you know, told you. If you had a linear equation, y equals 3x minus 1. Right? Um, we talked about you can always use like a table of values. You can plug in x and find y, right? Yes, right? Do you remember that? You can take x and then plug in y and then plot the points to connect them. But, well that, but the reason with that is that was a lot of work, right? So what we also found out was we could also use slope intercept form, right? And just find what m is, find what b is. Plot the point, negative 1, and then use that as your slope. 1, 2, 3, over 1. And then you could connect. Right? It was pretty simple. Does everybody understand? Kind of with me. OK. So um, or, we, or if it was in standard form, we use the intercept method. Now, for a quadratic, um, the shape, yes, yes. Th that was just a, that wasn't really a part of this problem. I'm going to get into that. That was just a little forward. Um, and we're actually doing. Sorry. So into graphing quadratics, what we're going to be doing is we're going to use the first method, OK? Which is when you have a quadratic in standard form. Now, a quadratic, the shape of the quadratic is not like a line. It is what we call a parabola. And a lot of times, you can just relate it to a u. OK? So the reason why I show you guys this, what you know, some examples of a parabola look like, though, are because if you just pick two points, does that tell you what the graph looks like? No, it doesn't, right? Hey, guys, girls, this is, don't you, yeah, this is what I'm going over. This is the important thing. I don't know. This is the important things right here. So picking two points is not going to be enough, all right? And there's another thing I want you guys to understand. I want you to make sure you write down when we're dealing with quadratics. There's a very, very important point. There's actually two, there's a, two kind of important characteristics, the minimum or the maximum. And whenever you have the min or the maximum point, do you guys see how that's like the minimum point of this parabola right here? And that's the maximum point. Any point that it takes the minimum or the maximum is what we call our vertex. OK? So you're going to want to make sure you understand that. The next thing is through the vertex, there is a line of symmetry. So I'm not going to be the best drawer here. But if you guys remember in geometry, a line of symmetry is a line about where, which you can flip your graph over and it's going to be symmetrical with. Do you guys see that? If you were to kind of take that and fold it over that dotted line? Yeah. OK? Right, Elizabeth from geometry, right? right. No, I'm just saying from remembering from geometry. <laughs> OK. Does everybody see what we have here? Yes? OK. So when we're getting into graphing, now what we're going to do when we're graphing and I, when we graph a quadratic, what I'm going to expect you guys to do is the first thing we're going to do is find the vertex. We're going to find that point. And we're going to plot that point. Remember when we graphed linear equations, the first thing we did was graph the y-intercept, right? Now, the first thing we're going to do is graph the vertex. Okay? Then what we're going to do is pick two points to graph, either to the left or to the right of the vertex. And once you know two points, can you now use those other two points or the line of symmetry to reflect over there? So really, ladies and gentlemen, all we're going to do is now, instead of two points, we're now going to ant it up to three points that we're going to graph. And then you're just going to reflect those other two points across the line of symmetry, and then you have five points that you can use to graph this. Make sense? All right. 
Well, let's go and see what we're going to do here. So how do you find the vertex? So the vertex, the formula for the vertex equals opposite of b divided by 2a. And some of you might say, OK, where did you get the a and the b? Well, if you guys remember, ax plus by equals c. That was what we wrote for. That was standard form of a linear equation, right? Yeah. So standard form for a quadratic equation looks like this. Do you guys see that? Yeah. That is your standard form for your equation. So now all I got to do, um, actually kind of my steps that I like to do, is first thing, identify my a, b, and my c. A equals 1, B equals 8, C equals 12. Does everybody see how I labeled my A, B, and C? Yes? OK. Now I'm just going to evaluate to find my vertex. So I do opposite of 8 divided by 2 times 1, which equals negative 8 divided by 2, which equals negative 4. Everybody follow me? So. Now, I don't know my vertex, though. Uh, I don't know what that point is. All I know is that point is, ah, um, oh, shoot. I'm sorry. That's not the vertex. That's your axis of symmetry. Sorry. If you guys remember, when I did this graph, Remember, here was the vertex, right? Remember, the axis of symmetry goes through the vertex, right? Notice that's a vertical line. Vertical lines are in the form of x equals, correct? So I'm sorry, I just been over break. I, I misstoped my thing. So Elizabeth, when I'm describing this, your, ver your horizontal line is your vertex. So the first thing we want to do is not find the vertex, but we want to find the axis of symmetry, which is the x coordinate of my vertex. So I still do opposite of b divided by 2a. I do opposite of b divided by 2a, and I get x equals negative 4. Therefore, I go to x equals negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and I draw my axis of symmetry. Does everybody see that? Axis symmetry always equals x equals opposite of b divided by 2a. Yes, you're going to want to have that memorized because you are going to have to know how to do that. Uh, my apologies. I, it's been a long break. But does everybody see that and understand it? Más o menos? OK, now where does this point, though, lie on this graph? Well, to do that, you're going to have to go back to your table. So. x, y. We know that our coordinate is negative 4, right? So to find the y coordinate, we got to plug negative 4 in for x. So I do y equals negative 4 squared plus 8 times negative 4 plus 12. Does everybody see what I did there? I took my x coordinate, and I plugged it into my equation to find my y coordinate. And I get y equals 16 minus 32 plus 12 which is negative 16, negative 4. Right? So now I go left negative 4, and now I go down negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that is now my vertex. What's necessary? All you've done is do opposite of b divided by 2a. You found that value, and then you plug it back into the equation. OK? Now, let's pick. We need to pick two more points, as I mentioned. We need to pick two points to the left or two points to the right? What, what would you like to do? Pick two points to the left or to the right? To the left. To the left. To the right. Well, uh, my recommendation would always be smaller numbers, right? It's much easier to pick numbers that are smaller than going larger. I mean, larger in like absolute value, right? So let's just do to the right. So now I'll do negative 3.
when doing that, I get y equals 9 minus 24 plus 12. That becomes uh, negative 12, 9. That becomes negative 3. So that becomes negative 3, negative 3. And then my last point is negative 2. And when I get to that, um, I get 0. Right? OK? So what I, the main important thing that I want you guys to see now is I've graphed one part of my parabola. I've graphed the right side of this. But remember, these are symmetrical. To get to this point, I went over 1, over, over 1, up 1. To get to this point, oh, shoot, I'm sorry, it's right there. I went over 2, up 4. Right? I'm sorry, my graph is all wrong here. So now, to get to my next point, I'm going to go over 1, up 1. To get this next point, I'm going to go over 2, up to there. Anybody have any questions on this? Anybody have any questions? Okay. Hey, guys. You don't understand.